Slatty, what's going? I, 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 we got that boy. Uh, it's a YouTube nigga. Hold on, what the nigga name? Woody or Prentice. I be fucking with him. He be, he be posting shit like that. Kondo Rano and Tay said, "Honey, response to Nemo said, honey, go on to Kondo Rano and let him hug. Kondo speak out. Hold up. On volume. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. In simple state, oh. Rondo, Rondo oh. took oh. not going anywhere to get right to it. Okay, so this Quando Rondo situation is not going anywhere too soon, so I'm going to be right on top of it. And as each development comes, man, you know your boy got you. Now, recently, Quando Rondo took to social media to voice his opinion about all this craziness. And he did it in one simple statement. Now, there's been a lot going on in the past couple of days. You got uh, Mimo 600. He went to Savannah and he basically shot a music video on what everybody thought of what he was promoting as Quando Rondo in Little Tim's Hood. Now, everybody was like, man, that's a crazy move. You know, that's just wild for anybody to even think of doing that, you know, let alone try to pull it off. And it seemed like I don't know why, but lately since it got cold, my lips be ashy as hell. I be like having crackhead lips. A complete troll move, and it seemed like a complete, you know, attention grab. And a lot of people spoke out against it, and a lot of people were for it. You know, Mimo 600 has a lot of fans that believe he was down there to put in work and to shoot a video because he's the, you know, baddest joker on earth. I mean, that's literally a lot of the comments I received when people were, were looking at that situation. But Quando Rondo, he decided to keep it simple. Now, Tay 600, now for those of you who don't know, Tay 600 is from 600 as well. He just recently spoke out about this situation as well, man. Now, before I get into the specifics, man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, man, let's first talk about Quando Rap. If you buy makeup or skincare on Amazon, you should use Capital One Shopping. It's a browser extension that... Rondo's response. Now, Quando Rondo took to social media and he made this post right here. And basically in this post, it's just a picture of him and Lil Tim. And you can see in the pic, it's in black and white. And you can see, man, it looks like a time maybe like right before he blew up or maybe even during the time that he was just blowing up because he's got the jewelry on and stuff like that. And little Tim is right there by his side, man. That's obviously his ride or die dude. I mean, no pun intended, but dog, that's his homeboy. And he left the caption right here. And he basically said this. He said this simply. He said, I'd rather say simple. I'd rather say for you. Say uh, simple. That's what it is. Free you than R.I.P. you any day. Three. Now, with this post, he's just letting it be known that hey, man, all this craziness going on, dude. I'd rather be. I'd rather be on this end of it any day. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather be on the end of this that says, hey, man, I'd rather free my dude than R.I.P. my dude. And I mean, it sounds like it's a shot at Vaughn again because I know he's been doing that a lot lately. But it really isn't, man. In this post, he's just letting it be known that, you know, sometimes it's better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6, man. You know, it's uh, so, it's an old saying that a, people have been saying since the beginning of hip-hop. Always, man. It, it was probably just a saying that started in the street, but it rings true still to this day. Now, Quando Rondo, man, the whole world is looking at him right now. He's got a lot of attention on him, and it's not for the best reason. I think keeping this post simple like this and maybe staying away from a lot of the trolling, like stop making songs that people could read into and think that are about King Von, man. I mean, that should be, let the man rest in peace at this point. I mean, all this not being able to do shows because of all the ruckus behind this is going to keep hurting his pockets. But it seems like, man, he's willing and he's ready for whatever comes with it. And man, when you step up in that in that part of the life, man, that's that's what you sign up for, you know. Sad, sadly enough. Now, somebody else who was talking about this was Tay Six Hundred. Now, Tay, my light look better if I put my flashlight like this. Should have been doing that. Tay Six Hundred took to social media with a rather long post, 
And he wanted to confront the fact that Mimo 600 went down there. That Tay 600 from Migos talking about Tay Snitch, honey. This nigga always, I don't know how these young niggas be getting these young niggas get famous with no songs. Just, just by association, but the nigga haircut crispy hair, the motherfucker. Your mama wanted to be fucking the barber. That's how crispy the motherfucker look. Allegedly, he's talking about Mimo 600. He doesn't mention him by name. And a lot of people are saying he's also talking about 600 Breezy and those guys that are the closest to King Von, who everybody's alleging I that they're using this situation as clout, man, it, which is odd because. He feels that King Von would not do the same thing to them. Like, he wouldn't use their, you know, passing as clout. Yes, the fuck he would, dummy. If if, that, if everything was the other way around, the nigga would have dropped 10, the nigga would have did the same thing Quando did. Drop two songs, drop all these fuck, drop these songs and drop it to fuck, drop a fucking tape. That's what he would have did. Obviously, he was a way... Rent or buy the new mutants on YouTube. See the thriller every. Hey, I should listen to this song. This song. Everywhere. But man, if the roles were reversed, he feels like he would do something totally different. And man, let me drop that video right here. I'm just sitting here looking at all this internet shit, right? And I'm like, there's been going on lately, and I really just really didn't got tired. And I'm like, bro. You gotta get the fuck off the internet if you want to be happy. That's how I go. That's how exactly how it is. If you want to be happy, you gotta get off Instagram. You gotta get off Twitter. You gotta get off all those social media sites. Cause it's all a distraction to put you in a lower level. <laughs> I sound like spiritual soul in that motherfucker, but I be like spiritual soul though. You nigga be saying some real shit. It's like I be relating to that motherfucker like hell, like like everything the nigga say. Once you start taking care of yourself, like. You're gonna be different. I'm gonna relate to that nigga, but y'all do need to get out social media. I ain't been on the ground saying, all right, in a while. And I'm lit. You need to see you lit. This is just getting out of the But get your ugly ass, ass on, boy. Be careful. Bitch, I don't care. History on don't that. We, fuck, we be spending man. all day talking about it. But tell you six. I already seen what I had to say. I can't even see what, Con what the hell Quando said because I don't be on the ground. Anyway, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You. Dick.